Okay, so for the next video about the uh, quarter three, week seven, lesson one, proving statements on triangle congruence. So the objective para sa lesson natin today is you will be able to prove statements on triangle congruence. So, bago tayo mag-start mag-prove ng different statements using the triangle congruence, let's learn about the following since magagamit natin to along the way. So, simulan natin sa definition of isosceles triangle. So, as we all know, a triangle with two equal sides. And the angles opposite the equal sides are also equal. So, yan po yung definition ng isosceles triangle. And another thing about it, is itong isosceles triangle theorem. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin nitong theorem na to? If two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite to those sides are also congruent. Kakailanganin din natin itong definition na to which is the definition ng equilateral triangle. Pag sinabing definition ng equilateral triangle, a triangle with all three sides of equal length and all the angles are 60 degrees. So let's start with proving statements using the different triangle congruence postulates. So let's have triangle ROX, okay? Triangle ROX is an isosceles triangle. Angle R is the vertex angle. Segment ON bisects angle ROX. And we will be proving first is the triangle RON congruent to triangle XON. And the second one is angle R is congruent to angle X. So, para sa proving, gamit ulit tayo ng two-column proof. So, ang isusulat natin sa unang statement ay triangle ROX is an isosceles triangle and pwede na natin isunod na yung angle R is the vertex angle. Ito siya. So, angle R is the vertex angle. Now, for the reason, it is given. Now, for the second statement, ibabase natin yung second statement doon sa sinabi sa first statement which is the triangle ROX daw ay isang isosceles triangle. At kung mapapansin ninyo sa ating figure, meron tayong markings na pwedeng magamit at isulat as the second statement. So, yan po yung segment OR, which is congruent, congruent to segment OX. So, ano i-reason natin dito? So, base sa uh, na-mention natin kanina, na yung definition ng isosceles triangle, having two equal sides. Now, for the third statement, ayan, sa so third statement, kung titignan ulit natin yung figure, pwede natin gamitin yung susunod na side or yung susunod na corresponding side, which is segment ON is congruent to segment ON. At ang reason natin is reflexive property of congruence. So, uh, let's have a marking here. Ito siya. So, segment ON is congruent to segment ON by reflexive property. And then, for the fourth statement, we can use the next given, which is segment ON by sex angle ROX. So, ito siya. Uh, segment ON by sex angle ROX. Ibig sabihin, there are two angles form. And these are... So, the reason for statement number 4 is actually the given. And we can now write on the fifth statement that angle RON is congruent to angle XON. And the reason for this is the definition of angle bisector. Now, for the sixth statement, since we already have the needed corresponding parts as you see on the figure, we can now write on the sixth statement that angle RON is congruent to angle XON. Yan yung isa nating task na kailangan i-prove. At ang reason para, na, para rito is side angle side. 
Ayan. So, since um, angle ROX is actually bisected by segment ON, and the two angles form here are the included angles. Now, for the last statement, since na-prove na natin na yung dalawang triangles ay congruent, Pwede na nating sabihin na yung angle R ay congruent sa angle X, which is actually the second task na ating gagawin. At ang ating reason ay yung CPCTC. So, yan yung example natin. Isa sa mga example natin on proving statements using the triangle congruence. Now, for the second example, Kuprove naman natin sa equilateral triangle. So, ang pangalan ng equilateral triangle natin is triangle J-O-Y. And we need to prove that angle J is congruent to angle O and angle O is congruent to angle Y. So, let's start with the statement triangle J-O-Y is an equilateral triangle at ang reason ay given. Para sa second statement natin, A we base natin siya sa first statement, which is uh, triangle JOY is an equilateral triangle. So, kung babalikan natin yung na-mention natin kanina na definition ng equilateral triangle, it's stated there that all three sides are equal. So, we can now write on the second statement that segment OY, ito yung markings, and segment JY and segment JO are all congruent. So, ang reason natin dito is yung definition ng equilateral triangle. And, for the third statement, we can now say that angle J is congruent to angle O and angle O is congruent to angle Y. How come? If, you, we, will, if we will be recalling our topic before, pag sinabing uh, the opposite sides which are all equal, lahat po ay equal, tulad nitong nasa figure, Kung titignan ninyo, dahil lahat po ng sides ay equal, ibig sabihin, lahat ng opposite angles nila ay equal din or congruent. So, dyan papasok yung equilateral triangle theorem. So, we already proved that triangle JOY ay, um, is an equilateral triangle and all the angles, which are angle J, angle O, and angle Y are all congruent. Next example natin. It's about congruence between right triangles. So, we have, done, we have done with the isosceles, with the equilateral. Ngayon naman sa right triangles tayo. So, take note of this. In any right triangle, the sides that form the right angle are called legs. And the other side, which is opposite the right angle, is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. Okay, so the opposite angle of this hypotenuse is a right angle, which measures 90 degrees. So, uh, magbigay tayo ng example on proving right triangle, no? Ayan. So, meron tayong given na triangle ABC and triangle DEF, which are both right triangles. Angle C and angle F are right angles. Segment BC is congruent to segment EF. And segment AC is congruent to segment DF. Okay, so ipoprove natin na yung triangle ABC ay congruent sa triangle DEF. Which, in fact, they are both right triangles. Okay, so ito po yung ating figure. Uh, one way to prove is using it in paragraph form. So, if we will be using paragraph way of writing a proof, we can say this one. In right triangle ABC, where angle C is the right angle, and in right triangle DEF, where angle F is the right angle, segment BC is congruent to segment EF, and segment AC is congruent to segment DF. And since right angles are congruent, Thus, angle C is congruent to angle F. We can conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by side angle side, triangle congruence postulate. Ito, 
uh, if we will be writing or using the two column proof, ganito yung magiging itsura. So kanina, gumamit tayo ng paragraph form on writing the proof. So dito, we use the two column proof. So gaya ng sabi ko, ito siya. Yung statements natin are uh, triangle ABC and triangle DEF are and angle C and angle F are right angles. So pareha siyang given. So dito actually pwede nating ilagay sa statement 1 na triangle ABC and triangle DEF are right angles uh, right triangles I should say. And then statement number 3 so angle C is congruent to angle F by right angles are congruent. So galing siya sa statement number 2. Statement 4 and 5 are both given and then we can now say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by SAS triangle congruence postulate. Specifically, these two triangles are both right triangles. So, there are many things to learn about different kinds of congruence, uh, triangle congruence, no? So, we also have the LL congruence theorem. Uh, this is the leg-leg congruence theorem. It is stated, if in two right uh, triangles, the two legs of one triangle are congruent to the legs of the other respectively, then the two triangles are congruent. We also have HYA congruence theorem. Ibig sabihin ng HY that is referring to the hypotenuse angle congruence theorem. So, if the hypotenuse and an acute angle of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and an acute angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Meron din tayo yung LA, congruence theorem. This is leg angle. If a leg and acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to a leg and an acute angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So, para sa susunod na video, ipapakita natin yung iba't ibang klase ng examples na i-apply ang mga right triangle congruence theorem.